Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today I do have a game that I will admit I was initially a little bit more skeptical of. It was a game that I wasn't going to play at first, but it has 16,000 reviews over the past five months and they have all been overwhelmingly positive along with the fact that i've just been seeing this game float around youtube and twitch and seeing a lot of other people play it it's you know piqued my interest you can say so today's game is going to be none other than dredge this might be a familiar name to some of you who do keep up with the indie game scene but dredge is a single player fishing adventure with a sinister undercurrent and you are supposed to explore a mysterious archipelago and discover why some things are best left forgotten. Now, if you take a look at like just the game and I guess the style of the game, it is in a different style than most of the games I would normally play. This one is more of a boat driving simulator open world type of game and while it does have a storyline involved the game is more driven on the choices that you make and what you choose to explore so a bit of a curveball i would say in terms of our normal content but just looking at the art style it's really honestly pretty captivating and just combined with the reviews and just the little bit of gameplay i've seen i just honestly really want to try this out so i would suggest you stick along as well at least for the intro just see if you like the game or not and you know maybe give this new type of game a shot so so if you do enjoy the content, please do consider number one, liking the video. Number two, joining us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash number, uh, I said that in the wrong order. Number two is subscribe. And number three is joining us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Antony Chen. So thank you for supporting the content. Please do enjoy this probably new first part to the Dredge series. And let us begin. Dredging the depths. Let's begin. Okay. I see a boat. Coming into a storm. Job listing angler wanted. I'm assuming that would be us. Oh man. This boat kinda kinda beat up a bit. Oh. Oh. Did we just crash? <laughs> oh, there's a lighthouse here. Interesting. Yeah, the art style is honestly very, very, very pretty, which is one of the main reasons I did want to as well try this game. Okay. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're laying on the you're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow, I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. This is the mayor. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish, see if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Mm. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It could really creep up on you. Oh, but it seems like we're at Greater Marrow, and I think we're just going to go right into this, right? It says undock here. Oh, move forwards with W, use S to reverse and turn. Okay, W, A, S, D controls. Adjust camera height. Oh my god. Yo! Wait, this is... <laughs> wait, this game is gorgeous. Move to a fishing spot. Okay, this is a fishing spot, right? I see like two more fishing spots out there. And then press F to start fishing. Oh, I can turn on my light too. <laughs> okay. Uh, How do I fish? Start fishing. Pull. Oh, so I like put it on the green spots, I'm assuming. Oh, shoot. A blue mackerel. Oh, this is like my inventory space. And I can fish again. Oh my god, I'm crazy. We got another mackerel. Wait, how many of these do I have to catch? Wait, I'm actually kind of cracked at this. How many fish do we need? <laughs> okay. Oh, the spot has been depleted. E to... Oh. Spyglass. How do I use this? Ooh. Wait, and then you can go into like first person point of view. Wait, this is this game is crazy. And then we could do like our foghorn. <laughs> Wait, this is so fun. Lights. Oh my god, this is this is great. I'm enjoying this already. Okay, let's see. Another fishing spot. I suppose we'll fish here. Ooh, this one's a bit harder. I got a cod. Oh, it takes up three spaces. 
Oh, but I can rotate it. So it's kind of like Tetris. I've never played Tetris before. Actually, that's a lie I have. I'm not very good at it though. So how many of these fish do I need? Oh, the spot has been depleted. It's already 1.05 p.m. and it's raining. The only time time advances is when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Blue mackerel. We have some more cod there. Uh, blue mackerel. I want another type of fish. Blue mackerel. Shallow. Wait, does that mean I can't fish there? Oh, disturbed water. You don't have the right equipment, so I can't fish here. Uh, I guess we'll just keep going with the mackerels, right? Well, what's that? There's a bottle floating in the ocean. What is this? Collect item. Add it to cabin. Wait, what was that? Oh. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first proper day. Today, we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Um, fishing is relatively poor here. Oh, what the? Oh, it's a uh, message. I'm assuming it's written by the bride because it's referring to the groom and he, and they're here on their honeymoon. He renamed the boat Julie. So is that our name? Maybe. Interesting. Is that a shark? Uh, <laughs> or is that like caught? Uh, let's keep fishing here though. Okay, it's 5.15. We should start heading back soon, I think. Okay, no more here. Oh, 6.22, it's getting dark. Select your lights by holding E and then... Wait, this, this makes like no difference. <laughs> this does like nothing. I guess it helps a little bit. I want to fish here. Ooh, arrow squids. Okay. We got a couple of squid. Exposure to fog lights and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. So panic is at the top of our screen here. Uh, how do I reduce it? There's bright light here. I have my lights on as well. Oh, I'm assuming it's just like the meter. So if it goes all the way up, we maybe die. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off into town, you should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. I understand you may not have the necessary funds, so we'll consider it a loan. Excuse me. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. Bruh. What is this, Shark Tank? <laughs> Bro's taking a perpetual royalty on all of my fish sales for like the rest of my life. This is crazy. You'll need to sell the fish at the local market, pay off your debt, and keep the population fed and satisfied. Okay, got it. So the local market. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. $50 remaining. Wait, only $50? It's not that bad. This is the market, I'm assuming. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around the downcast man behind the counter. <gasps> You're the new fisherman. Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? Yeah. It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Monka. Anyways, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. See what you got. I got I got a lot for you, man. 148 for all fish? Wait, absolutely. Look at that. Debt adjusted. Uh, $22. You can't see it, but they took $22 from me. Damn, that's kind of a steal. Okay, uh, now what? The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? This is a research part. Okay. One last thing, our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Okay, uh, we can research stuff. Oh my God. So this is, I'm assuming like better fishing equipment. So maybe we could get gear to fish in the shallows. It says like volcanic shallows, mangrove coastal, coastal shallow mangrove and volcanic. Do we already have this hydraulic rod? Should I be saving these or do I need to upgrade these ones first? Maybe I need to upgrade this one first and then we can keep moving, right? And okay, better engines probably go faster. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go to the shipwright for first. You see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks 
up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front and everything takes time to install. If you take any damage from rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up mostly. She shrugs and gestures to the hole she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Oh, she sells rods? Oh, basic fishing line pole. We could sell this and buy a new one. A lightweight rod suited to catching fish that live in the shallows. A small spool makes for limited reeling speed, however. So fishing speed is plus 10%. Uh, this is plus 35. It's only capable of catching the smallest of fish. Oof, I don't know if we can get anything here. Maybe we could get like double engines or something like that. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna, we're gonna return to town and maybe we should get one of these. Oh, spend one or hydraulic rod. Honestly, I think we get this, right? Yeah, research available, hydraulic and rod now available in store. Wait, so I have to research it and then go buy it? Bruh. Is that how it works? I have to swipe it? <laughs> okay, I think we just rest, right? And then we can go out the next day and hopefully speed run a little bit of fishing, come back, upgrade our ship, something like that. Yeah, okay. See you in a little bit, YouTube. A few moments later. Oh my god, it takes two hours just to get out here. Is this what actual is this what is this what happens when you fish? Anyone confirm? Ooh, I got a trophy. Is fishing really this time con time consuming? Okay, I'm gonna catch as many as I can. The environmentalists hate me. Okay, depleted. It's already 1 p.m. Wait, how long does it take for a single fish? 217. And when we end, it's 254. It's like 40 minutes of fish. Oh, trophy fish? Trophy! And then we could catch one more fish here. It's already 4 p.m. though, so probably have to head back. You know what I used to fish? I used to go on the uh, the fishing games on the side of the street where you use that little net to catch goldfish. Always rigged, by the way. Never win. I think we could be able to repay our debt here. Fishmonger, I had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Mm. One gulf flounder and one gray eel. Where can I find that? Okay, shallow water fish. Let's just sell our fish here. We paid off $25 in debt and we got $140. Pretty good. We have $2 remaining in our debt and then we'll need a rod that can handle shallow waters. Uh, oh my God. Which one do we get? Do we get the weighted line or should we get the uh, simple skimmer? I mean, both work. The weighted is just twice as expensive though. Honestly, weighted line, right? Three hours or two, three hours to install. Okay, fine, fine. We'll get weighted. We'll get weighted. Oh, wait, it has to be in one of these fishing slots. Are you kidding me? Install three hours. Okay, minus three hours there. Uh, we still have $118. We could maybe get a rusty outboard engine plus 10 kilometers. Wait, is that kilometers or is that knots? Plus 10 knots. The skies were lit up with a weird crimson glow the other night. Don't believe I did see that. Okay, you know what? Forget it. We'll get an upgrade. We'll get an upgrade. Might as well. It's like free money. Uh, cabin. Ooh. So we can look at all of the fish that we've caught and then find out, I guess, where they reside. Pretty cool. Caught to order flounder eel or one flounder and one eel. Okay. So we'll need shallow water rod for that. Should we go back out and fish or should we sleep for the next day? Ah, oh, forget, I'm going, I'm going out. Inspect a floaty, a floaty boy, boy, what the buoy? It serves to mark a safe passage past rocks and hazards. It's dim light provides brief respite in the gloom of night. Okay, oh God, it's actually so dark though. Shallows, there, there, we need this. Oh my God, it's actually so dark. Okay, this might've been a mistake. Oh, here. here. What is this? Yes, I think that's what we need. Yes, gray eel, okay. Okay, let's leave. It's already 4 a.m. Uh, pull an all-nighter, it doesn't matter. We got eel, we need flounder now. Ooh, ooh, that must be flounder. Here we are. Oh, it's a grouper. Wait, I don't need this. Where are the flounders at though? Okay, that must be a flounder. Yeah, this has to be flounder. That's what they look like, right? Yes. Oh, no. 
Wait, we've got it. Okay, there we go. I need to clear space. Okay, I think we're good. I think our insane bar is filling up. We should probably go sleep. He's been up for like 30 hours now. Oh, a hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Okay. A little bit weird. Yes, I do have the fish that you ordered. Yes, there we go. And then we have the eel. 50 bucks, let's go. And then I think our debt is repaid. A couple of squid and a whole black grouper. We have the grouper. Oh, we saw the squid too. No. Okay, you know what? We can do the grouper first. Okay, okay, okay. And then we'll sell these ones too. Some contain abnormal specimens. You can even tell by looking at the surface. Okay. Interesting. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. You might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Okay, this is the dry dock. Extra space, more attachment points, and even superior holes. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Oh, I just go, like, scrap materials from around the area, <laughs> I guess. Ooh. Oh, I need, like, bolts and stuff. Oh, my God. Seems like we have everything that we need. Let's just uh, sleep for now. Oh, my God. We're sleeping for so long. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Uh, okay. We have a package to give a dock worker. Okay, so head towards a little marrow, and then we also have stuff in our map. Oh, where is it? Oh, we could place markers. There's an X here. Our encyclopedia, what the heck? Deliver the package, we should do that. So where is little marrow? This is the marrows. Is it just that? That's gotta be it, right? No, that's gotta be it. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta be it. We already did the grouper. We just need two more squid. We could probably deliver the package first and then go fish. And then I also wanna look for some shipwrecks. We can upgrade our boat. Ooh, here we go. Delivery. Hmm. 25 bucks, let's go. And a sustainable fishing book, <laughs> I suppose. Oh, there's a trader here. Any trinkets? I don't think we have any trinkets unless you want the fish. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is Little Marrow. I think we'll just keep fishing until we have to go back. Oh, is this like a stingray? Aren't these endangered? Oh my god, this thing is huge. Here. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's this? Oh. I don't have the equipment for this. I need to buy the dredge equipment. Ooh, ooh, we got a golf, a trophy golf flounder. Honestly, I think we could go back and sell what we have first and then come back at night. Sell all our fish. We got a hundred dollars and we go back out. Oh, is this it? Yes, that's what we need. I can't believe I missed. I'll catch as many as I can here. Two of the squid. We got $82. Crab pots. Ooh. It lasts for two days. Okay. Drop it out at sea, then come back after a day or two to check on it. Got a customer after a fiddle crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. Found this book. Oh my god, everyone's just giving me books, bro. Oh, I could buy more of these too. Should we buy any? I feel like we don't need it. I'd rather upgrade my boat, right? All right, shipwright, what do you got for me? Lights, should we get more lights perhaps? This will help for night fishing. So we can get two cloudy lenses. I feel like I might as well get it, you feel me? Okay, here we go. Nice, okay, we got an extra one of those. Let's try the dry dock. You can store whatever you have here. Okay. Oh my god, I need these bolts and stuff. Wait, how do I get these bolts? 
Metal scraps, bolt of cloth, lumber. Wait, where do I get these? Oh, Lord. Okay. I guess we just have to go catch the crabs before we uh, do anything. So maybe the game will let us progress after that. Select the crab ability and deploy it. Need repairing. Okay. I'll just deploy it there. That'll probably let us do whatever we have to do once we come back at night. Ooh, what the? We got a grotesque mackerel. Interesting. It's a trophy, I guess. Corrupted scales. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Did we put our crab thing in a good spot? It says plenty. Yeah, there's nothing yet. We'll have to keep uh, farming here for blue mackerel. Okay, it's a regular one. Dude, all these spots are getting depleted so fast. Show the fishmonger. Huh? Oh, we're supposed to show this to him? <laughs> You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open, from its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. A once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish. Uh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> a man is looking at you through your cabin window. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. Hey, yo? Okay, that's a little... Okay, we probably have to go there. Is this a good idea? Should we be doing this? This has to be it, right? We'll dock here. Ruined mansion. We really trust this guy? This is, uh, this is kind of sus, I can't lie. <laughs> the man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came, good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes up from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance, and, as you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics, and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Hey, yo, okay. This is where, this is where we, this is where the dredging comes in, right? This is where we can start uh, dredging those areas that we've been seeing. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. Okay, okay, here we go. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to Ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences, anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Okay, it seems like we have a, uh, a new business proposition on our hands, you know what I mean? It seems like we have a, a new side hustle here. And there's a workshop as well, what the? It's locked, okay. A locked workshop. So does he like own this entire island? That's crazy, bro. We are able to dredge now, right? Dredge, shallow, and coastal. Search for relics. And then we still need the crab. I'm still missing the crabs, bro. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Dredge. This is where we can start doing stuff. Ooh, start dredging. Press F to change lanes and avoid gaps. 
Wait, what? Oh, I see. Wait, it's like actually a little mini game. Oh, okay. We're fine. We're fine. Nice. We got a worn gold ring. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, let's go check on our uh, crab. Oh, it looks like there's something there. Let's see. Yes, common crab. W, five hours remaining. Let's pick this up. <laughs> we'll probably need to uh, repair it. Okay, and then we need also a fiddler crab. So we might need to go grab one of those. But first, let's sell off everything we have. Oh, fisherman, have you run into a photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggested that she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many people to talk to. I'm going here first. Okay, first crab. Fiddler crab, and then... Oh god, so many crabs. Okay, we can go to the fish right to patch up our stuff. Okay. I will also grab one more of these, just because we have the funds. And then let's sell everything else we have. Enter repair mode. Uh, okay, there we go. And then let's talk to the lighthouse keeper. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. Mm. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Mm. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog's tricks? Okay. <laughs> I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through these windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Okay, wait, wait, what did she say about the shipwrecks? Mm. It's, uh, back of Greater Marrow. Okay, and then you we're looking for an unnatural glow. Okay, and then the builder. Mm. Uh, it's peaceful. Interesting. Found some materials you can help me move out. There's an island steel point just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap. Ooh, okay. We have uh, a couple new pursuits here. So here and here are our two areas, yeah? I think what I'm gonna do is first, we will drop our crab stuff. Oh, there we go. There we go, okay. We'll fish for the day and then we'll head over, hopefully give this collector the ring that he's looking for. And then on the way there, or on the way back, we can take a loop around to the back of the island, yeah? Uh, take a look at these trinkets. Common clutter. Oh, what the? Okay, so he doesn't want our common trinkets. <laughs> How will I know if it's one of the trinkets that he wants, though? Oh, oh, no! My ship! No! Okay, anyways, I think... Oh, oh, that must be what we're looking for. I don't know why I'm fishing right now, but okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh! <gasps> Hey yo, hey yo, uh, uh, what is that? Oh, I think it might be time to return. What is this? You see this glow here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or am I just seeing things? We need to go back. What in the world is that? I'm being greedy. I'm fishing more. Okay, so it's just a regular one now. Okay, let's leave. Oh my god, we gotta get back. Oh, whoa. There's different... There's rocks popping out out of nowhere. <gasps> Something slithers into your... Wait, what? Oh, it infected my cod! Have you seen that strange red light at night? It seemed to be rising from the west. I have. 
Okay, we, we will just sell all this stuff off. Yes, please. Repair my boat. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're good now, we're good now. Holy! Okay, we're sleeping now, but what was that? Okay, we gotta go back there, right? Surely. Is that a dredge spot? Oh, dredge spot. Okay, we should go there, too. Oh, oh, another bottle. Hold up, I'll grab it, too. Nice. Two pieces of lumber. Nice. August 21st, 1927 is what we just got. Slight accident around the shallows of... At the back of Greater Marrow, a rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the boat. That's what happened to me. We did not see what they were, which is some of the concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. Huh? There's some very suspicious things happening around here. Okay, let's sell the trinkets just because we can. Grieving father, is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there, somewhere, in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I notice you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. Okay, where can we find that though? Oh boy, okay. We have two spots that we can uh, go check here. Let's, okay, let's head, let's head to the back here. Let's head to the back, yeah. Oh, here it is. I think that's it, right? It's a shipwreck. Oh God, it's fast. I got it, I got it. Yes. What is this? Bronze belt buckle. We got it, we got it, we got it. Oh God, it's 39. Uh, Monka. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's dredge. What's the worst that could happen here? Got a old iron chain. Okay, it's already 10. Okay. <gasps> What's that? Oh my god. Oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Wait, it's that thing again. What is that? Oh, it's squid. This is squid? Wait, why is it like glowing though? Do you guys see that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Snag squid. Ew. What is that thing? All right, we gotta get back. Oh, God. Uh... Slow and steady. Oh my god, these rocks that are just appearing. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, let's rest. Grieving father, here we go. We got the belt buckle. Yes. Nice. Oh, research part, yes! This is what we need. I don't get a lot out anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight he, it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry, over and over. Begging anyone who would listen. Howling to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Throw it back. What does that mean? I'm also checking the map. I think that's the area that we were supposed to go to, right? This island here is where we're supposed to drop off our materials. So I'm thinking we head there today, yeah? Let's uh, check our traps. They seem to be pretty full. You, oh lord. Uh, can I even pick this thing up? <laughs> oh, nice. Oh my. Nice, 61. Okay. Odd uh, deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh? They go mad? <laughs> Perhaps, but I just want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Just keep this. He's going to eat a mutant fish? Hey, yo. We do have one of those mutant fishes. A snag squid. Dude, this thing looks insane. Oh, Lord. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. 57 bucks, okay. Oh, and we got two more research parts. Wait, this is huge. Faintest whispering. He's crazy, dude. Nah. 
Okay, Monka. I think we should deposit our wood, right? Uh, if we go to the cabin. What the heck was that? It's a storm. Oh, God. Tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellowed crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. Anyways, we have two lumber, two scrap here. Okay. Oh, and I think we caught another crab here, right? So perhaps we can sell this. Oh, yep. We're going to head north here. And then don't forget, we still have to check out the back here. So we'll do this first, though. Ooh, there's a sparkly glowing happening here. Let's see. Can we catch anything interesting? Oh, whoa. A fanged cod. Dude, what is up with the fish here? It's the normal cod. Steel plant or steel point so they could build a house. Okay, so deliver two lumber and two scrap. I do have the two lumber, so let's get rid of it first. Here we go. This must be it. Oh, you're building a house here? There's nothing here. I do see a shipwreck though. We have the two lumber. Let's do that. And then, oh, should we dredge while we're here? I feel like we don't have space though. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We might as well, right? Nice, we got a goblet, whoa. Oh God, it takes so long to dredge. Okay, more lumber. I don't think we need this, right? Is this also gonna give us lumber? Okay, yeah. And then, oh. Let us sleep for the night. We need metal scraps, which we do not have. Yeah, let's just rest until morning here. All right, first things first. Blinding headache. He doesn't remember us coming yesterday. We well, do have this fanged cod here. Let's uh, research here. Okay, we have three research points. Flexible fishing pole. Okay, that's honestly pretty good, I would say. And it looks like we have to uh, upgrade this before we can get it. So let's do that. We can buy the flexible fishing pole now. And then I'll spend another one on the... Ooh, which one do we get? Heat resistance or anti-tangle? Or I could do this, improved outboard engine or better pots for crabs. I think we'll just do the engine, yeah. Ooh, flexible, flexible. I think that will be good for us. So let's go ahead and sell this one, the basic. We will buy the flexible. We could also buy the improved outboard engine as well. It gives us 15 knots uh, speed, but we'll need to get a bit more uh, capital to do that. One hour remaining, let's grab a one mackerel, go back and sell it. And then repair our crab pots, throw them back out, come and rest. 13 bucks, not bad. Let's uh, rest until the morning. Yeah, I see that red light again. It's coming from the back. We definitely gotta go explore that. And we got pearl earrings. I think there's another dredging spot up towards here as well, so. Oh, two dredging spots actually. <gasps> it's thunderstorming again. We got a bolt of cloth. Oh, two bolts of cloths. I think this is what I need too, uh, for to complete the task. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, research part. There we go. I guess we could dredge one more time. Oh, Monka. <gasps> oh, no. Wait, my light. Wait, what happened? Wait, what happened to my light? Okay, and then let's sleep here. Wait, there's a, there's a good catch here. There's gotta be like an abnormal uh, fish here, yeah? Oh, here we go. Oh, whoa, many-eyed mackerel. All right, honestly, that's probably enough fish. <gasps> and there's a dredging spot there. Although, uh oh, I feel like it's a waste. Whoa, what was that? Oh, here's some? <laughs> we'll sell our stuff off first and call it good. Been here for almost two weeks. Pretty good. Pretty good progress. Uh, builder. I, I need a, I just, whoa, huh? <laughs> Wait, I need a taker there? Are you kidding me? You don't have your own transportation? What do I do with this too? I'm putting all this stuff in storage. Oh, oh, right. That's where the dredging comes in handy. So for two rod space, we'll need scrap, bolt of cloth and lumber. Oh, oh, 
that's what I need it for. All we need is lumber, actually. And then we could actually uh, upgrade rod space. I might as well get the upgrade started, right? A nice engine would also be good, though. Just extra speed. Maybe yeah, I'll spend that there, yeah. $200, I think we might be able to sell this back, yeah? And then buy one of these better ones. That should upgrade our speed just a little bit. And let's take the builder there. There we go, here you are, 8 p.m. Ah. Yes, this will do, thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. Pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Ooh, more research parts. I can't complain, and I hope she's doing well. We're moving at supersonic speed. Oh, what's that? Wait. Whoa, you see that? I don't have much space, but that looks interesting. It's a... A slab of rock juts from the water bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. Does it want me to like give like cod sacrifices? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it wants like sacrifices of cod. Whoa, I wonder what it'll give us. We'll put that marker there just so we don't forget. Oh, <gasps> could be something. Hold up. A trophy fish perhaps? Oh, what? Lumpy mackerel. Ew, what is up with the fish here, bro? <laughs> okay, we'll sell all that off though. And then we will research more of the engines here. There we go. We have the refined outboard engine now. So I actually don't need this anymore because we have this one that does both, yeah? Let's go back, let's go back. We need a dredge. Ooh, trophy cod. I don't know if I want to sacrifice that, to be honest. Okay, and let's head back to the sacrifice place. All right, are we ready? A wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something is lodged against the rock. Sinew spindle. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> Can I, is that it? That's all it gives me? Can't interact with it again? Well, I guess not. We'll take it. It's better than nothing. You know what I mean? Do this. And then one lumber, one lumber. Okay. Lumber is a is actually a top priority right now, though. We need three pieces of lumber, three pieces of lumber tomorrow. Actually, through here is the red area. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God, we're so far out from land, though. I feel like by the time we start dredging, it's going to be nightfall. No mistakes. <gasps> we got the key. That's what he needed, right? I see something in there. Oh, dredging spot, but it's like blocked off. A pile of loose debris clearing this would take some strong explosives. We need explosives? Are you kidding me? You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Hmm. Is this all? Where's the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of red light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. Now go, we have more relics to uncover. I have haste! My intuition tells me the current may have carried some debris to the southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Those words you read from that book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart at a, a, a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however, it may put a great deal of stress on your engines. Hmm. What the heck? Hmm. He was a fisherman two decades ago. Interesting. Hmm. An old friend. 
Southeast Gale Cliffs, okay. Oh, here is the next part, Gale Cliffs. Seems like we have our next destination. Adds speed to your engine, but increases panic. So it's used in like an emergency situation. One lumber. Oh my God, I need more. Where is the other lumber? Oh, the lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you. Who are you expecting? Your engine, it sounds like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Okay, that's a little strange. Ooh, okay, so we definitely have to work towards these upgrades, yeah. Better than nothing. Nice, we have one. Okay, I think there were some more dredging spots towards this island too. So with this and the last couple of days, we should be able to start venturing elsewhere, yeah? Oh, she built a little house. <laughs> Wait, look at this. Thanks again for helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself settled up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. Engineer's companion. Okay. Ooh. Oh God, it's dark. It's like so dark. I'm hearing things. hearing things okay let's take a rest for the night should we keep looking around this island for more dredging points yeah let's do that okay oh god it's a thunderstorm oh yes we should be oh hello sos i'm saved you're a sight for these sore eyes what happened i washed up here it must be two weeks now we were in rough seas when a wave hit us broadside. I was jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have come to find me by now, but yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? Uh, yeah. That's a relief to hear. I thought for sure those sorry sacks would be halfway across the sea with my boat by now. Give me the little marrow. All right, yeah, we'll take them. Okay. Nice. And then all that's left to do is to head back, I think. Yeah. And look at that. We have enough. Oh, I see something there. Ooh, flounder. Could be something special here. A trophy fish, perhaps? Oh, riddled flounder. This thing is a baggy perforated with countless cavities. Ugh. The sweet rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you. For someone who has just been saved, he seems gloomy. I've not got much on me, as you can imagine. I have a feeling this isn't worth, worth much anymore, for me at least, but perhaps it'll be worth something to you. A signet ring. Ooh. Good luck to any captain that holds it. I wonder how much it's worth. <laughs> we pawn it off here? <laughs> 90 bucks to my name. Listen, I don't have I don't have the storage space. You, you know, I, I gotta I gotta carry lumber, passengers, everything, man. And we can't we can't be doing that. Anyways, I think we have enough resources now to be able to upgrade some of our boats. Our, our boat here, sorry, excuse me. And looks like we have some rod space as well as the engine space that we need. There we go. Upgraded W rod space as well as well as net space if we really need but i don't think i need it yet almost a fully upgraded boat love to see it love to see it and then i think we go to the ship right here we should be able to purchase brand new propeller nice Look at that, we have plus uh, 35 speed now, and we're able to get all of these things here, so. Ooh, what is this? 82 feet, halogen spotlight. Wait, that looks that looks wild. I need that. <laughs> Light space, oh, I need two of the wood. I feel like the last thing we really need in order to head up here is just the spotlight, right? We have pretty much everything we need. Have uh, able to fish in all these different areas. We have nice motor speed, so we just need the light and then we're pretty much good two pieces of wood two pieces of wood great eel Ooh, ooh, trophy eel and that's the last one okay it really wants me to use this huh select it holding a oh, whoa 
Oh my God, it actually makes you go so fast. <laughs> okay, sell all this fish here. I'm actually gonna go and just purchase this because I can. Basic trawl net now available. Will passively catch basic fish when deployed. Oh, that's pretty nice. We really don't need this either, right? I don't know why we gave the cod for this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's not necessary. I'd rather have that passive ability to be able to catch fish. What is like the most cost efficient thing to, to catch? It's probably not those that hold four space in the inventory. $18, $18. Oh, they're not even worth that much. $35 for the grouper. Stingrays are $60, but they take up nine slots. So it's not worth at all, yeah. This is, you could get eight slots here and you get $70. So I think the black grouper is the most valuable. What's this? A shipwreck? This is an old husk. You pull a little closer. Ooh, hey, yo. Lumber. That's what we need. Research, chain, and a citrine ring. That's enough lumber for everything that we need. And then we still have some space to be able to pick up some black groupers if we can find any. Actually, I think there's a trophy fish here, so I'll just catch this. Either that or a very alien looking creep. Oh, God, it's a lumpy mackerel. I'm taking all your fish. Oh, Lord. I don't know if I have... Oh, just enough. Nice. Maximize our uh, maximize our catches for the day. Okay, I think that is pretty much it, yeah? Let's see. Sell all the stuff. Put in these pieces of lumber that we need. Buy the upgrade. And then maybe purchase... Oh, we're so close. Hmm. I don't want to end it here. I want to be able to pick up this stuff. How much money do we need? Like $500? 600 we need 625 dollars it's time to make some money we will talk to the trader Ooh, we got a book okay 32 dollars for this stuff not bad oh, oh cyclopean flounder Let's see 162 400 okay we're almost there we're almost there actually we can already purchase one of these it'll give us plus 50 speed 50 percent Sorry. And then I think one more day. Let's do this. Two poles and we have it. It's pretty nice. And a trophy fish. Love to see it. All right, we're out of space. Here we go. Hundred dollars more. Two twenty-five. We're missing fifty. Couple of eel. Oh, oh, whoa. Host eel. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind a distended rib cage. Oh. Ooh, trophy. Ooh, $150, W. With that, we can actually sell this light, pick up one of these bad boys. We have the halogen spotlight, we have the anti-tangle tangle line, the flexible fishing pole, as well as the refined outboard engine. We have made some pretty nice upgrades to the ship. Like, look at, look at, look at this spotlight now. We can see so far, nothing, nothing's out of our view. I think off stream, I'm going to attempt to just farm for maybe the uh, new hole. It's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit. I'd rather do that stuff, you know, off stream and just farm the money and be able to come into the upgrades with you guys the next time we uh, play live for the Morant channel. So I think that's actually gonna do it. And that is the very first episode of Dredge. I mean, so far I do have to say it's a very interesting game. I'm very hooked in on the mechanic and I think the storyline behind it is also incredible. So I can't wait to see, you know, where this game progresses. And of course, next time we will be moving on to the next region, which is I think the Gulf area down Southeast. Next time will be the next section and hopefully we'll be able to uncover a lot more as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that first episode. Let me know what you guys thought of this uh, different style of gameplay. Uh, I know there are a couple of other series running on the channel, primarily Raft, but let me know if you guys like to see this type of stuff as well. And perhaps I will try to pump out some more episodes, film some stuff off stream, play the game a little more off stream and see uh, what exactly it has to offer. So if you did enjoy, please do consider liking the video, subscribing and joining us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. I always do have a lot of fun playing through these games with you guys. And of course, Twitch chat here uh, joins me along for the ride as well. So shout out to them. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.